Good evening. How's everybody today? I hope you had a really, really good day. I, um, oh hey, nice to see people hopping on here. It's late, I know. Uh, for some of us, I'm not a night owl. So I'm much more a morning person than I am a night person. But anyway, I've been gonna, been gonna jump on here and talk to you guys about this for a while and life just keeps getting in the way. So I'm like, I just need to do it and be done, you know, have it done. So quit thinking about it. This is something that, um, cons I, I guess, concerns me. It's, um, hey, Kristen. It's something that's really near and dear to my heart. Hey, Jennifer. Um, thank you guys for joining. Do you realize how powerful you are? We are powerful in so many ways, but what I want to talk to you about tonight for a few minutes is what we do with our money is powerful. Our money has a lot of power. So my question to you first off is who or what is your money supporting? How do you spend your money? Because that's really important, you guys, if you haven't thought about it. Do you intentionally buy local? Do you support small businesses in your area? Because if you're not, and you don't, and you've never thought about it, stay tuned because I want you to think about it. There are lots and lots of reasons to shop local. You know, local businesses are vested in you and I. Local businesses are vested in the community. They're, they're vested in the area. And believe it or not, this was a statistic that um, actually surprised me. I know there are a lot of other reasons to, do, to buy local, but this one really surprised me. Did you know that small businesses are actually the largest employers nationally? Small businesses, you guys. And the greater the number of small businesses, the stronger the local economy is. It's just, that just makes sense, right? Now, think about this. So our money is like, it's got to keep moving. It's like blood. In order for the body to remain healthy, blood's got to circulate. So in order for the economy to be healthy and for our local area to be healthy, money has got to circulate. That's important. That's crucial. So local employers, small mom pop shops, um, local businesses, hire local people to work, right? So they're giving local people jobs. Those people in turn, those employees in turn, spend their money locally. So it's just, it's a snowball effect and it just continues to go and go and go. Plus we're keeping tax dollars in our community and supporting um, roads and schools and libraries and, and all those kinds of things. Now, the first thing that you're probably thinking is, well, if I, if I go local, if I buy local from mom and pop and, and, and these small business owners, I'm probably going to pay more and I don't want to pay more. Well, the truth is you are probably going to pay a little bit more, but the, I want you to think about the power, the power that you have that, and, and a local, a small business does not have the buying power that a chain does, that a big box retailer does. They just don't have it. So it's not like they're trying to gouge anyone or trying to make more money. They, it just costs them more. So I want you to think about that, but it's really, it's worth your investment. Think about it as an investment to you and to your community. You build relationships with local business owners. They care about you. You don't build a relationship with people that own chain stores um, or big box retailers. You just don't. You're gonna be provided with amazing customer service from local people, small business owners. They care about you. And did you know that small business owners donate over two and a half times more per sales dollar to local nonprofits, events, teams, ex all those types of things than, than chains and big box retailers and things like that do? Say hello to Brett. Hello. I think he came to help me. He thought I needed a little bit of help, so. Brett, do you want to say anything to the people tonight? They're all loved. They're all loved. He loves all of you. <laughs> so I want 
you guys, I want to challenge you with something. I want you to let your money talk by seeking out family-owned, mom-pop businesses, home-based businesses. Support them. Build relationships with them. I bet that you know a lot of locally owned, local, I bet you know a lot of business owners locally. Restaurants, um, car repair shops, grocery stores, co-ops, hardware stores, car dealerships, printers, accountants, gas stations, um, bakeries, boutiques, gift shops, all types of home-based businesses, you guys. Wouldn't you rather support somebody that you know? Now, if and you shouldn't feel bad about that. Sometimes people say, well, I feel bad about taking money from my friends. Well, you shouldn't feel bad about that. When you provide a service to someone or someone provides a service to you, you expect to pay for it, right? If I take my car to an auto repair mechanic, I expect to pay to have my car fixed. It's the same thing, and I would much rather pay somebody that's local and somebody that I know and I have a relationship with than some big chain somewhere, wouldn't you guys? So I challenge you to seek out those local business owners, to seek out those home-based business owners, and do business with them on purpose, intentionally. And if you are, if you have a home-based business, if you are an entrepreneur, if you have any type of business of your own, I want you to comment on this post, on this video, so we can all seek you out and support you, put where you live, and that way we can start and you guys can we can share that and everybody can support everybody else and just be praying for local businesses so i appreciate your time i thank you guys for listening tonight and letting me um jump on my soapbox for just a minute i'm going to jump right back off here and um brett says goodbye have a good night love you guys we'll talk soon